This is Independence Square in Merida in the Yucatan. And you know, the best way to get here is by Aeromexico. They have a red-eye flight that leaves New York into Mexico City. And from Mexico City, you can go all over the country. It's the best way to travel. Aeromexico. We are now in the main square of the city of Merida, a place that was founded in 1542 by Francisco de Montejo. In previous times to the conquest, the city of Merida was a Maya city like Chichen Itza or like Uxmal. In other words, in the place where we have the main square, there used to be enormous Maya pyramids that were gradually being lowered down as the colonial city of Merida was built, being built up. Actually, the city of Merida has this very beautiful square, which is a place where the people concentrate 24 hours a day. In the early morning, like at this time of the day, people are going to their jobs. By midday, they are working right here. At night, it's completely surrounded by troubadours. So it's a place of 24 hours activities. Uh, it is surrounded by the four most important buildings that we have in Merida. Behind me, we have Montejo's house, the first private home that used to house the family of Francisco de Montejo, the conqueror of the peninsula of Yucatan. So on the opposite direction, on the other side of the square, we have the, the governmental palace and also what used to be the second private home of the city of Merida. Facing to the west, we have the cathedral of the city of Merida a very, very important building because that is the earliest cathedral inland in the whole of America. It started being built in 1561. It was physically finished by 1591 and it was finally consecrated in 1598. This last date makes it the oldest cathedral in the American continent. And opposite to the cathedral, we have the mayor's palace which is a colonial building that hasn't suffered too much of a big alteration. So the main square was and is the important center of reunion of all of the people who live in the city of Merida. Why of the name of the city of Merida? Most probably when Francisco de Montejo arrived to Yucatan during the times of the conquest, he saw in this specific location the remains of the Maya pre-Hispanic buildings and he was reminded of the city of Merida in Spain with the Roman monuments. And that's where the name of Merida actually comes from. It was a decision of Francisco de Monte. This ice cream store dates back at least a hundred years, and they infuse tropical flavors into the most original ice creams. The buildings in downtown Merida date back to the 15th century. Paseo de Montejo Boulevard still has a collection of homes from a bygone era. The Monument of the Motherland is a large semicircle of rose-colored stone depicting the colonial history of Mexico on one side and the other of the prehistoric Mexicans. Tradition restaurant offers traditional Mexican cuisine. Visiting the markets is a perfect way to integrate with locals. Yucatán, a la 
House of Artisans is an excellent place to see patios, and they are typical throughout the country. Walk restaurant is a trendy spot to relax in the evenings. My name is Hugo Mendez, and this is the Big Wall restaurant in Merida, Yucatan, Mexico. Welcome to all flavors, all colors, and textures. This is a fusion of the Chinese food. This is a slices of pork with, with the real bamboos, with the real chiles, and uh, we have a, a base of rice. Then. This is an, another plate who makes with uh, chipotle. It's a classical chili here in Mexico. It's a, a lobster, lobster uh, tortillas with chipotle. And the other one is the famous general salt chicken in the United States. We make here in brochetas. It's a different way to do it. Uh, Folkloric singers, dancers, and musicians are performing the town square. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our journey in Mexico, and we're here in Merida, which is in the Yucatan, and Yucatan is filled with lots of surprises, archaeological sites, cenotes, and all kinds of things that you can experience. I always say the people make a difference when you travel, and the cuisine is extraordinary. The best way to get here, of course, is Aeromexico, which flies from New York directly into Mexico City, and you can go anywhere in the country. Until next week, I'm John Haggins, the Globetrotter. I hope to see you then. Remember, get up, get out, and travel!